practice 9.3, questions number 1. For each of the following triangles, determine whether ambiguous case exists. So for question A, the triangle ABC have an angle of 62.5 degree at the vertex B. So the length BC is 14.5 cm and AC is equal to 10 cm. So for this incomplete triangles here, this one, I'm going to label this as the angle B, which is the 62.5 degree. And for this point here, I'm going to label this at C. Therefore, this length here will be 14.5 cm. So we have another point, which is the point A. So it will be, if there is a triangle, so the point A will be on the horizontal line here. First, we're going to de determine the heights of this triangle. So now we're going to have a right angle triangle here. So the height here is the opposite side, whereas this 14.5 will be the hypotenuse. Therefore, we're going to use the trigonometric ratio of sines, which is equal to opposite over hypotenuse to solve for the height. So sines. 62.5 degree this is equal to the height over the 14.5 centimeter to find the height this will be sine 62.5 degree times 14.5 which is equal to 12.6 centimeter so here the length ac is just 10 centimeter which is less than the height of this triangle so the point a will never touch these horizontal straight lines therefore there will be no triangle form therefore there will be no ambiguous case here questions b the triangle pqr has an angle of 28 degree at the vertex r the length of qr is 8.2 centimeter and pq is 11.4 centimeter so for this incomplete triangle, the vertex here, I'm going to label this as the R, which is the 28 degree. And R connects to the Q. So this is going to be the Q. This is QR at 0.2 centimeter. So first, we're going to find the height of this triangle. So this is similar to the questions A. So the height here is the one that is opposite the angle 28, whereas the 8.2 is the hypotenuse. So to find the height, it will be sine 28 degree. This is equal to the height of the triangle over the 8.2. So the height can be found by multiplying the sine 28 degree times 8.2, which is equal to 3.850 cm. So here the other length which is the PQ 11.4 cm definitely more than the height of this triangle. So if we swing the point P just like the pendulum when it swing to the the point P will more than the point R. But when you swing the point P to the right hand side and then you extend the horizontal line. The point P will be touching the horizontal lines at this point. The length of PQ will equal to the 11.4 cm. So in this case, you can only form one triangle. Therefore, ambiguous case does not exist for this question B. Question number two, the diagram on the right shows an incomplete triangle PQR. PQ is equal to 15.5 cm and the angle QPR is equal to 35 degrees. Given QR is equal to 10.5 cm, so A finds the possible values of the angle QRP. So first, we're going to determine whether the ambiguous case exists for this triangle PQR. So we're going to determine the height of this triangle PQR. 
So as this involves the opposite side and the hypotenuse one, so we're going to solve this using the trigonometric ratios of sines. So sines 35 degree, this is equal to the height over the hypotenuse. So the height can be found by multiplying the, the sine 35 degree with the hypotenuse. The answer is equal to 8.890 cm. So here the length you are is equal to 10.5 cm which is more than the height. So if we swing the point R just like the pendulum, the point R will be touching the horizontal lines at two points here. Therefore, ambiguous case exists for this triangle PQR. So when we connect the two points R here to the points Q, it's going to form two triangle PQR. So one of the triangle PQR will look like this, which is highlighted in the blue color here. Another possible triangle PQR will be the one just like the red color lines here. So the two possible angle QRP, one of them will be here, and the one will be here. So now using the red color triangle PQR, the angle R here is opposite to the length 15.5, whereas the angle 35 degree is opposite this 10.5 centimeter. So using sine's rule, it will be 15.5 over the sine's angle R. This is equal to 10.5 over sine's 35 degree. So sine R is equal to 15.5 times sine 35 degree over 10.5. So the angle R will be the inverse sine of the answer that we have here, which is equal to 57 point at 6 degree. Now to find the other possible value of the QRP, which is this angle here, this is an obtuse angle. Now, if we refer back to the original diagram that we have here, the ambiguous case here, the triangle that form here is going to form an isosceles triangle, which means the angle here will be equal to 57.x6 as well. Therefore, to find the angle R here, this is equal to 180 minus 57 point at 6 degree which is equal to 122.14 degree questions b hence find the possible length of pr so first we're going to find the length of pr of the smaller triangle so the length of pr here is opposite this angle q so to find the angle pqr it will be 180 minus 35 minus 122.14, which is equal to 22 point at 6 degree. So the length QR here is opposite to this angle 35. So now using sine's rule, so PR over sine's angle 22 point at 6 degree, this is equal to 10.5 over sine 35 degree. So PR is equal to 10.5 over sine 35 degree times sine 22 point at 6 degree, which is equal to 7.112. So the other length of PR the length of PR here is opposite to this angle Q. So to find this angle PQR, it will be 180 minus 35 minus 57 point at 6, which is equal to 87 point 
14 degree. So the other pairs of length and angle that I'm going to use is this 10.5 and this angle 35. So now using sine rule, so PR over sine at the 7.14 degree, this is equal to 10.5 over sine 35 degree. So PR is equal to 10.5 over sine 35 times the sine at the 7.14, which is equal to 18.28. 